What's going on guys? This is Live Creative. I am Moses White. My main man here to my right is Skip Hill, the coolest cat on the planet. We're gonna learn all about Skip today, figure out what motivates him, what moves him, what makes him tick, and you guys are gonna see the whole thing, so stick around. All right, guys, we're here with Skip Hill. He's going to do a little bit of demonstrating. I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of Skip's style. We'll see how that goes. Um, tell us a little bit first about the, the series that we're going to be following and tell us what inspired these pieces. Okay, good. Uh, the, well, what you particularly like, the paintings that you particularly like, are the king, what I call the Kings of the Court a series. It's basically uh, uh, an iconic, central iconic figure, basketball player. Uh, but also, they're also influenced by everything from playing cards, uh, kind of a, I love the Renaissance, I love the medieval period as well. So in a way, they're, they're kind of a, a takeoff, almost a joke on hip hop culture. The whole braggadocious, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the baddest, right. I'm, all of that. So these guys are, uh, uh, <laughs> I like to think that they're pretty cool with themselves, they're pretty cool <laughs> guys. But there's also, you know, I, I come from a family of pastors, I grew up in church, so I also like icon. I love icons, I love iconic imagery, uh, whether it's uh, altarpieces at a church, an old Czechoslovakian church. Uh, I, I like to inject that in there as well. So the pieces, typically most of the pieces will have something of a playing card injected into it. Okay. But always crucial is the, initially is the iconic figure that I start with. And, talking about Jean-Michel Basquiat early on, right. the crown. Teach, I always get on kids when they do this kind of, when they do this thing. Oh, uh, sketchy lines? Yeah, yeah. Like, just, yeah. Whip, just do it. Just, just whip it out. I love, by the way, the uh, caricature or cartoonishness that yes. you do with the large oversized head, yes. small bodies, right. small proportions. Again, think about a chess piece because I also thought about chess pieces, the knight, the rook, the pawn, uh, that also comes into play. Is that how it works? Yeah, a lot of what I do is purely uh, intuitive, it's what I call a faith walk. <laughs> I walk by faith, not by sight. Right. It really is a faith walk, I just kind of, if I know the, the key elements in the piece, get those established. At this point, I still have no idea what this is going to be. The final piece right. is going to look like. You have, you have the base. I just have the base to start working. Right. So I don't know, uh, uh, and I'm very excited to see what you come up with. <laughs> yeah. huh? Well, I mean, luckily I can, I can draw, so I I'll know probably you can. be okay in this. I might, I know I you might can. be all, all right here, so okay. are we going to... Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I love... Yeah, this is it's going to be interesting. Go I don't, I, don't, I don't get embarrassed easily. Go but uh, we're, we're going to see how how we turn out here. Uh, <laughs> down, all right, so I'm, I'm going the way you went. I'm going to try to follow you a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, sold to the next bidder. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
I don't know that uh, this doesn't look too far off from what I would do. It's not far. I see the difference. <laughs> well, I see the difference too. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's I me. see the difference too, but I mean, we're not, we're not too far off from, this is not too far off from what I would do. Awesome. I so what's off. next? What do you do next? So typically what I would do, and we can talk about it before I actually get into it, the painting always goes on first. Even though I work with paints, I, my particular style is mixed media and combining paint and collage. I, I'm going to be interested in doing this without referring to the other paintings that I've already done. So we're going to put a slightly new twist we're, on this we're, one. We're, we're gonna, just going to be intuitive and see where we go here. 